Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to import videos to Share Factory using a USB stick. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So we're about to begin to transfer over videos to our USB stick here. I have a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0 SanDisk USB drive. However, before we can go ahead and transfer over videos to our USB stick, we have to know the proper format for our videos. Otherwise, it will not show up on ShareFactory when we import the video. And these include MP4, M4V, MOV. And it will have to be 1080p or lower. And if you look right here, it'll have to be under 22 megabytes for the bit rate. And most video cameras, if you're trying to transfer over like a video camera, a uh, video, like uh, I have my GoPro. Whenever I shoot my GoPro stuff, I have to put it into a different video editing software and render it with a lower bit rate. Otherwise, it won't show up on my share factory when I transfer over to my PS4. And it will have to be between 12 and 60 frames per second. And it cannot be longer than 60 minutes in duration. So those are the supported formats for the videos to be able to be transferred over and show up in Share Factory. Now let's go ahead and take our USB stick and plug it into our PC. And I'm going to go ahead and open up File Explorer. And my USB stick will show up on the left hand side here. And I believe it is the H drive. And what we're going to want to do is create a folder called Share Factory. So let's go ahead and right click and go to new and go to folder and name this one Share Factory. So we have the Share Factory folder on there. Now let's go ahead and click into that Share Factory uh, folder and go ahead and right click again and go over to new and go to folder. And this one we will want to label videos. So we got videos on there. And that's inside the Share Factory folder. And then if you want to add music, you would have to add music. And then for images, you will want to put images. So these are the correct labels for the different folders in Share Factory. If you do not have it correct, it will not show up when you try to import the content to Share Factory. So I have videos on here. Let's go ahead and get a video and put it into that folder and see if we can get it working on our PlayStation 4. So I'm going to go ahead and open up File Explorer again. And I have a place where I keep all my videos. So I have a bunch of screen captures that I have from using OBS on my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and drop and drag a file into here. So let's go ahead and get this one. This one is my intro for the current video I'm doing right now. So let's go ahead and move that over to videos. And it will transfer over pretty quick. This is a 3.0 USB. And let's go ahead and confirm it's in the video section. And here it is. So I have my video in here. And let's go over to my PlayStation 4 now. And plug in my USB stick to my PlayStation. So I'm going to plug it into my PlayStation 4 right now. And I already have Share Factory up. And if you'll notice at the bottom here, there is a section just for imported content. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And then we are importing a video to Share Factory. So go to Import Video. And then at the bottom here on the left hand side, there is an option called Import from USB. Let's go ahead and select that. And it's loading the video clips on my SanDisk USB stick. And here's the one that I just put onto my USB stick. So let's go ahead and press X and select that. And then we are going to want to go to, what was it, Import Selected Clip right here and press the square button and it will load it up onto your PlayStation 4. Now when you take out your USB stick, this video will still remain onto your PlayStation 4. And this is a great way to maybe get a Panzoid intro or something over onto your PlayStation 4 and then you can use an intro video all the time for every video. So I have this video on here now. If I go back and go to videos and maybe go to my last project we will be able to add that video in there by going to the x button and then going to add clip and the easiest way to find it is going by category on the left hand side and then going down to imported video 
Otherwise, it might be a little bit difficult to find your imported content on your PlayStation 4. You'll have to scroll through the entire list. So I have my video clip right here. Let's go ahead and select it with X and add the clips by pressing the square button. And this added it to my, um, my timeline here. So this is the clip I just put on to ShareFactory. And this is the intro for this video. Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Views. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to... And as you can see, it's working. ...using a USB stick. So let's go ahead and jump into the... So importing a video to ShareFactory is actually really easy. Just make sure it's the supported format. Otherwise, it won't show up when you try to import it over to your PlayStation 4. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other videos coming up next on your six studios.